Imagine looking into a mirror that doesn't just show your reflection, but the early days of the universe itself. A place where space and time were just beginning to form, still shaping the reality we live in today. That's exactly what the James Webb Space Telescope was built to do. It looks deep into space to see the light from the first stars and galaxies, reaching back billions of years. Scientists thought they knew what they would find. They expected to see the quiet early stages of the universe, simple clouds of gas just starting to come together. Instead, Webb found something completely unexpected. Not chaos or simplicity, but fully formed galaxies already spinning and glowing with stars. These galaxies had spiral arms, star clusters, and even supermassive black holes. They were complex and organized, appearing when the universe was still very young. It was like discovering a full-grown tree where only a seed was supposed to be. These galaxies shouldn't have existed yet, but there they were. More galaxies kept appearing in Webb's images. Each one seemed even older and more developed than the last. Scientists expected to see faint smudges of light. But Webb showed them brilliant structures blowing with energy. The galaxies weren't just forming, they were already matured. It's like the universe skipped its early years and jumped straight into adulthood. For years, we believed galaxies needed billions of years to grow and stabilize. But Webb's data suggests otherwise. In just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, stars had already formed, grouped into galaxies, and begun evolving. This defies everything we thought we knew. It means the universe worked much faster in its early days than anyone imagined. Not only were these galaxies complex, but they also contained elements like oxygen, carbon, and iron. These heavy elements are forged inside stars and spread when those stars die in massive explosions. That process usually takes billions of years. But Webb found these materials in galaxies only 400 million years after the Big Bang. That's shockingly fast. The presence of these elements so early means that stars had already been born and died, the new ones had already formed. This means the ingredients for planets, and even life, were around far sooner than expected. Finding these elements so early is like finding a fully built city just minutes after laying the foundation. And then came another surprise, enormous black holes. One galaxy had a black hole more than a billion times the mass of our sun. Black holes are supposed to grow slowly, but this one was already massive when the universe was still young. Even the best computer models can't explain how it grew so quickly. Some scientists now think black holes may form in unknown ways. Maybe from giant gas clouds collapsing directly. Or perhaps dark matter played a hidden role. These aren't just small tweaks to science. They could rewrite everything we know about how the universe works. Webb also detected something else, organic molecules drifting through space. These are the basic building blocks of amino acids, the foundation of life. They weren't tied to planets or stars. They were just floating freely in the early universe. That means the seeds of life may have existed almost from the beginning of time. Even more strangely, Webb saw galaxies arranged in precise patterns. Some looked like petals spinning around a central point. A few scientists wondered if this hinted at some larger cosmic design. And that's where the mystery deepens. Galaxies forming too fast, black holes growing too large, molecules appearing too early, none of it matches our old models. Webb's discoveries challenge everything we believed about time, space, and the cosmos itself. Maybe the universe is more than just stars and galaxies. 
Maybe it's a living story that we're only beginning to read. Each new image takes us closer to truths once beyond imagination. But Webb is not the only mystery shaking our view of the universe. Another puzzle comes from an ancient star right here in our own galaxy. In the 20th century, scientists proposed the Big Bang Theory to explain the universe's beginning. This idea gained wide support because it matched so many observations. The Big Bang also explained the universe's expansion. But even with all its strength, the theory still left big questions unanswered. Then, in 2023, NASA's Webb Telescope revealed galaxies that seemed much older than expected. Some looked like they existed before the universe itself was supposed to begin. This confused astronomers worldwide and sparked debate. If galaxies are older than the universe, then maybe our timeline is wrong. This mystery echoed another strange case, a star in the constellation Leo about 200 light-years away. It's known as HD 140283, or more famously, the Methuselah Star. Named after the biblical figure known for long life, Methuselah is one of the oldest stars ever observed. It moves through space at 45 kilometers per second, suggesting it may have come from another galaxy long ago. But what truly shocked scientists was its age. Early studies suggested it was 16 billion years old. That's older than the universe itself, which we estimate at 13.8 billion years. Later studies reduced the estimate to around 14.5 billion years, but that's still too old. This creates a paradox. How can a star be older than the universe it exists in? The answer isn't clear. Scientists are double-checking the data, trying to rule out errors in their methods. Measuring a star's age is not easy. Stars don't show obvious changes over billions of years. So astronomers study brightness, color, and temperature. They compare these traits to models of stellar evolution. One technique, gyrochronology, looks at how fast a star spins. Stars spin slower as they age, much like a toy top losing speed. Methuselah's slow rotation suggests it is incredibly ancient. So maybe the problem isn't the star, but our understanding of the universe's age. To imagine this, think of the universe's history as a single year. The Big Bang happens on January 1st. Earth doesn't appear until December 31st. And human history only lasts a few seconds before midnight. Our estimate for the universe's age comes from studying light across billions of years. This light stretches as space expands, shifting toward the red part of the spectrum. This effect is called redshift. It helps scientists measure how far away galaxies are and how fast they move. But if our models of redshift or dark matter are slightly off, our age of the universe could be wrong. That might explain Methuselah's strange age. It could also explain why Webb sees galaxies that shouldn't exist so early. Maybe the universe is older, or maybe it evolved faster than we think. Science is built on questioning itself. Each mystery is not a dead end but a doorway to deeper truth. The James Webb Telescope and ancient stars like Methuselah remind us how little we know. Every discovery reshapes our picture of reality. Maybe the universe's greatest secret is not how it began, but how it continues to surprise us. And maybe the biggest discoveries still lie ahead. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.